Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I will be giving you lecture on performance analysis in SQL Server. Now before starting the lecture I will uh, I would like to tell you is like today's lecture is for everyone even the people who are from the DBA or who are not from the DBA or people who has just started their career as a DBA. The thing is this uh, session will tell you how you can have the performance analysis skill with the minimum skill set required because uh, the formal or you can say the general way of doing the uh, performance analysis is different but at a given time you can use this what I'm, I will be teaching you in this lecture. Now uh, to start with the lecture is now as when we do the performance analysis for the SQL server generally what we do is we use the SQL standard reports. Now SQL standard reports if you don't know the standard reports are like here in the standard you have the standard reports where you can have the top queries uh, as per CPU, IO and all so, and you can see the active sessions and also these are the standard reports. So generally whenever there is a problem performance issue and uh, the server uh, where you are not running any performance or you monitoring jobs at that time you have to use the standard reports to get a quick insight about the problem or about the things happening on the SQL server. Now the problem with these reports is you have to go one by one because there is no one particular platform from where you can just target you have to open each and every report you have to traverse through the information and you have to make sense of, of the, all the information you got and you have to take the necessary st uh, steps about it though these reports also use DMV so some people don't prefer these reports they directly run the queries on the SQL server to get the blocking and all and try to resolve that with the queries so anyhow these reports also use the same DMVs uh, for the getting the deadlocks and other performance things. Now the problem as I told you we have to traverse through all the different reports to make sense so it's become difficult for SQL Server administrator, uh, administrators to get a quick insight. Now the solution for this problem is SQL Server Performance Dashboard Report. Now this is a separate report provided by Microsoft itself so it is not a uh, made by any just like not an open source thing. Uh, the thing uh, the Microsoft has made it so this tool will help you in getting uh, you this report will help you getting a quick insight regarding the performance and also it contains all GUI uh, like its uh, UI is very interactive so from this report you will be able to make more sense what is happening on the SQL server. Now the question is is this report provide you all the solution the answer to above question is no but it gives you a lot of information to take quick actions at that particular moment. Also, do this report any store any uh, store any data? No, this report don't store any data. It uses DMVs, extended events, and performance counter to give you information. And also, some of these counters usually are cumulative, so uh, which gives you cumulative information since last restart of SQL Server. So, if you want to be data non-cumulative or you want to store the data, then you have to write your own logic. But the thing is, you can use the SPs and queries used by this performance dashboard report. So because these are my, made by Microsoft, so you don't have to be worry about the accuracy of the queries and all. So this will give you a quick information. Now let us start what uh, like regarding what we'll be doing in this activity is. So uh, I will be doing this activity on the AdventureWorks database. So this is open source database. I will be taking AdventureWorks 2012 database. Also, I have to generate the load to show you what is happening on the SQL server. So I will be using the load generator, which you can download it from here. This is just a PowerShell script, which will generate you a, a load, a good enough load to see the information. Also, uh, before running that PowerShell script, you uh, basically generally there is a ex uh, execution policy. So it won't allow you to run this load. So you have to uh, set the like execution policy to either remote or uh, unrestricted so that you can uh, run this load and but the thing is uh, before to executing this command use get execution policy to get current policy after doing the activity you can restore back the execution policy if you need also uh, do, uh, then we have to I will show you from where you can download the performance dashboard report also installing how it works and then uh, how to set up this report and deploy then we will be running the load and also after that we will be analyzing the report like what it is telling us and also uh, there are few things which you want you may want to customize in the report I will tell you how you can do that also but I won't be telling you like 
I won't be showing you how, what you need to do because that is uh, your decision. But the thing is, I will tell you like from where you can get the, all the resources and all. So let us get into the uh, our uh, example. Okay, demo. So now first thing, as I told you, I need to restore the AdventureWorks database. I am using this virtual machine, so. Uh, I am not like giving you a lot of uh, performance uh, big demo but the thing is I am just giving you demo regarding this performance dashboard report so don't uh, expect to have a great load on the server so this is a simple server so once you are installed with this database the second I told you like we need to download and install this uh, uh, like you can say load generator the link for this one I have mentioned there but this look like this so this is github link you have to download and uh, it will be in zip so once you extract that it will create a folder so in this folder now you have these files and also first thing you have to do is you have to go into this script section you have to run this setup script if you are having 2008 R2 uh, workload then you have to run this script uh, setup uh, if it is 2012 then you have to run this one and just select the database which you restored and run it so once this setup is done as I told you first thing is you have to get the execution policy so that you can know what is the current status of your execution policy after that you have to set it to unrestricted it's already unrestricted And yes oh it's already I think that only so not an issue and also uh, for other things uh, for regarding this group policy you can just read the document which I was showing to you here also I mentioned but this is available on the Microsoft site also like w which policy do what um, so b after that once you have done that uh, you have uh, now the thing is we have to s now the third step was we have to uh, set up the execution policy third was downloading the performance dashboard report setup now for that also you have to download it from Microsoft SQL Server website uh, you know this one yeah so this is Microsoft website so you have this install instruction also so this link I will also mention in the document otherwise you can just uh, download it on like performance, performance dashboard 20, uh, basically 2012 only so there is no 2014 and 2016 the same thing are used so from here you can just download it so this will come as a Microsoft link so so once you download you have to install the setup and once you install the setup it will get you this folder in the SQL Server uh, perform, uh, like program file x86 SQL Server 110 and then tools and this is performance dashboard now the first thing you have to do is you have to run this setup script it will create few SPs and all in uh, MSDB I think yeah MSDB so because this report will pull the information those SP and everything will go into MSDB so if you see there will be a list of dashboard queries uh, SPs so once this is done the second step is right click you have to go in report click on the custom reports and you have to traverse through the same path uh, that one which I told you uh, program file x86 SQL server 110 tools performance dashboard select the report and click on open so what it will do is here in the reports you will start uh, seeing this a uh, new report now after this we have to generate the workload if I am not regarding the step yeah so we will run the workload and then we will start analyzing the report so to run the uh, report I have this uh, script ready so you have to change uh, your basically it's simple only the thing is you have to change the your uh, server name database name username password and so on and the path where this workload file lies so this path will be this script folder so this is the script folder path and I am first and second I have to set the location working location also so I will use PowerShell I'll say set location first I will set the location to my uh, this folders because this file uh, that run workload will be in this location now I can run this command and workload will start running so it started running now it's time to see 
our work uh, report also this activity monitor also you can see it, it will start triggering some queries on their server so now the thing is you have to go into the reports or you want to have the workload run for like 20 30 minutes that depends upon you so what I will do is I will go into the reports and open this performance dashboard report so let us collapse this okay now this report I told you as it will give you a quick insight one thing is missing is one chart has to be here uh, because it is not coming because there is no data and it will look like this one so if there is any deadlock happening you can just click on lock and it will traverse to the queries where that lock is happening and these are the things so uh, you can analyze from this uh, help file which will be also coming with the setup so this is a, a file and you can even read about like what report tells about this missing index and all so that is different thing okay now let us analyze the report now suppose uh, you have this report and you see uh, weights happening like this situation like as, as I told you there are like locks happening so what you have to do is just click on the locks it will get you the query or at the one given time suppose you find that my C your CPU usage is going very high SQL Server usage is also you can also traverse from there also like it will uh, get, get you to the uh, current sessions happening so once you have this you can click on any query so it will give you the plan information also so this is as I told you it is very interactive report it will give you the query parameter passed and even plan and everything so whatever you need so now uh, so where I was okay now suppose uh, in this one situation came is like your CPU usage is going very high and you want to see which other queries which can cause the CPU utilization so you can go by CPU and also if you see there are lock happening uh, as I showed you here locks or network IO is happening and you want to traverse you can click on network IO it will get you the queries where the network IO uh, is more also at particular time suppose you want to go through the queries which are executing for more duration you can just click by by duration and it will get you the queries which has executed more compared to others so let us wait okay now once we have this also is you can see now here it is also showing like this is the one query which is having so much duration you can just click and it will uh, again traverse you to the filter you that that particular query and it will show you which is the query and again you can just navigate to the query see the plan and the other statistics regarding the query so this is one insight also like suppose you want to see uh, the missing it also one more thing this is cache hit ratio now is cache hit ratio is like always it should be more than uh, like 95 percent it is regarding like amount of data getting into your cache and how much it is getting used now the thing is suppose uh, like 100 MB of data went into your memory but whenever the new query is running again it has to flush that 100 MB because that is not it it has to get the new 100 MB data into the memory so the problem here is your cache cache data is not getting used so it is regarding that so here also it is also you can say traversable it will get you the, I think buffer pages yeah above our weights reports so wherever the weights are happening so also one uh, best thing about is if you click on this user sessions it will show you the sessions once you click on the sessions it will give you the queries which are running into that particular session and then from that queries you can traverse uh, back to the uh, original you can say source of the like plans and everything like if we try to go here okay now these are the query currently running you can click again like you can traverse as I told you so this one report gives you a quick peek about the things also it gives you a missing index which is especially good for the newcomers who are new into the database administration field so because it takes a lot of time to analyze uh, missing indexes so here you can see the overall impact of the, this index on the other queries and all uh, the thing is once you have the missing index it is telling on some table you can see which are the SPs uh, through the dependency check like if suppose this is the uh, table is SQL order header so if I want to go into this SQL uh, sales sorry sales order header if I right click view dependency so these are the SP I, okay so these are the SPs and all which I think I'm going yeah so these are the SPs or anything like which are dependent upon this table and also you can go into this SP like what 
query is happening because of that uh, this much imp uh, this index is required and why this much impact is there and well, other things you can analyze so overall this report is one package also it come with a great help file which will explain you each and every part of the report which you can go through uh, now the question comes is as I told you it's this query uh, report doesn't store any data so it will give you okay uh, sorry I am just messed up one more thing I want to show is uh, now this report as it is showing you these sessions now the problem with these sessions is uh, this depend this coming from uh, comes from your extended event ring buffer so if you want to capture it for like 24 hours or 3 hours what you have to do is you have to go into the management object and uh, the extended events sessions system health properties into the extended e uh, sorry uh, where it was yeah data storage add the ring buffer oh it's already there so just remove it so ring buffer will be there also change your like this limit to zero so that it can be unlimited and tell it like you want to store the session related information for 500 MB so that later on you can query as per your convenience it is storing all the information so this was all now the question comes is it doesn't store data for you so how you can store the data and all now the thing is as I told you this query is running over the scripts which we installed on MSDB so in MSDB you can find all the SPs and all like how they are working like if you see let us go through one hmm. yeah like me uh, like this get CPU history if you execute this or basically let us just modify and see what is the code there now if you see it will get you top 15 records here in this 15 records so if you want to change it to 25 and modify and just pull this report again so there will be change in data so you can play around this with the report through these SPs and all you can just modify and also you can use these SPs to have your own logic to store the data because these SP gives you a, a quick information and how you will get to know like which SP do what so for that you have to get into the reports now for reports uh, there is like this link for SQL Tiger team uh, like Microsoft SQL Tiger team has this all dashboard related reports available I think I just download it few minutes ago yep so like this is the uh, so this zip you will download from this link which I was showing to you now if you see in this dashboard report it will show you all the RDL files which you have to edit in like business uh, development environment so here you can see this is performance dashboard report and how which report navigates to which one like as I told you like once you click on uh, okay let us get back to this report okay one okay now suppose you want to click on this user sessions so in user session it's generally go to the sessions overview report so once you click on uh, any session particular it will go to session details so once you click on the session detail it will get you to the uh, like uh, from the session detail you want to get onto the any query so it will navigate you to the uh, this query st uh, stat details or I think plan guide basically the query plan guide so this is these are the reports you can modify you can open in Visual Studio and modify and you can look into the which SP is called by which report so anyhow as I told you like this report give you a quick insight and it will give, help you in uh, tracing down the particular issue for having the to store the logic of uh, like how do you want to store the data and all it depends upon you uh, how you would write the logic but uh, for this CPU thing you have to use that ring buffer as I told you in the extended events now uh, I don't know if, uh, how much I was able to communicate on this report but if you have any question you can contact me through my email ID that is yogesh.mahela at the rate gmail.com you can call me or whatsapp me on this number uh, and also my skype is king conspiracy you can contact me anytime I hope you like the video and if there is any question just please reach me anytime